Hey everybody, this is So Heidi, and this tutorial is going to show you how to quickly change your colored artwork to black and white artwork. So I've heard from so many designers that they feel like it's such a tedious process to take a colored sketch and manually change each and every position within the artwork to black and white for their tech sketch for their tech pack. And there's actually a really quick shortcut to do that. And I'm going to show you exactly how. So I want to show you two different examples. The first example is going to be a sketch that has solid color positions only, meaning no repeating pattern swatches. So that's this sketch over here on the left. I've got some color block panels in the calf portion, and I'm just showing the inside as a little bit darker value. So I've got three colors here, and again, they're just all solid colors, no repeating patterns. So I'm going to select the entire sketch, and I'm gonna come up to Edit, Edit Colors, Recolor Artwork. Once I choose that, it loads my Recolor Artwork dialog box. Now, if you've not been in here before, um, let me show you a quick overview of how this works. I do have some other in-depth tutorials on this interface. It's a very powerful interface to manage your colors with an Illustrator. So you can check those out on my site at soheidi.com. But just for this tutorial, I'll show you very quickly how this works. On the left-hand side here, we have got our current colors. Those are the colors that currently exist in our artwork. On the right-hand side, we have our new colors. Those are the colors that we want to change our artwork to. Now, each of these colors within our artwork is controlled by one color bar. So no matter how many times that color appears within your artwork, or whether it appears as a fill color or a stroke color, it only appears as one color position within this dialogue. So what I want to do is within the new column, I'm going to double click click on each color position and then change the color to white. I can do that within here by sliding the um, color picker up to the upper left corner, make sure I have pure white and choose OK. Alternatively, I can double click on that, I can choose my color swatches and I can choose a color of white or any other color you want, but in this example we're definitely going to white. So I'll choose that and I'll do it once more for this last color position. And the last thing you want to do before you click OK is that make sure that this box in the left hand corner is checked to recolor artwork, otherwise your changes will not stick. So I'll go ahead and choose OK. And now we've got a black and white sketch of our artwork. Now this was a pretty simple example, but you can imagine on very detailed garments how many different color positions there are within trims and um, inside paneling and labels and stuff like that that you might want to just convert all to black and white in one swoop. Very quick and easy to do. You could also use this technique to convert your entire line sheet to black and white. So if you've got all your garments for one collection on a page, let's say 10, 12, 15 garments, however many, you can select all of them at once and very quickly convert them all to black and white with a couple clicks using this dialog. So let's go ahead and do this next example, which includes solid blocks of color, but also repeating pattern swatch. So I want to show you how to do this um, the right way. So I'm going to do it the wrong way first and explain why it's the wrong way. Now, instead of coming up to edit, edit colors, recolor artwork, you can choose the shortcut, which is up on your control bar here to recolor artwork. Saves a lot of time from using the drop down. So we're going to just click on that. And now you'll notice what it's done is it's loaded each of the color positions that I have within my artwork. So I can manually change each of these to white. And let's do it a couple different ways, however you really want to do it. And maybe I want to keep that inside back a light gray to just show the inside, show it a little bit darker. That's fine. Now again, my recolor artwork is checked. I go ahead and click OK. Now I want to show you what happened. If you use your direct selection tool and select this panel here, Oops, this panel here, which was the polka dot pattern. I've got my fill color active over on the bottom of my toolbar, and I come over to my swatches panel, and it looks like I've got white, but if I hover over this, it's really a repeating pattern swatch. So if I want to see what's going on, it looks like it's just white, but it's really a pattern, um, I can just double click on that pattern swatch uh, to open pattern editing mode, and I'll show you how it is still a pattern. Now this is this pattern editing mode is specific to Illustrator CS6 and newer. But what I can see is if I select everything in here, you'll notice I've got the polka dot and the background fill color for it. So that's not what I want because I've really just taken the repeating pattern and I've changed all the motifs to be white. And it can just kind of create a mess for your artwork. So I'm going to cancel out of that. 
and we'll zoom back out. So let's do undo a couple times, Command or Control Z. And instead of changing the entire thing to white using the edit recolor, um, the, the recolor artwork dialog, let's do this. I'm gonna zoom in a bit here. And I'm gonna grab my magic wand tool. And if you've worked in Photoshop a lot, you probably are familiar with this tool, but maybe you've never used it in Illustrator. It works very similarly. I grab my magic, magic wand tool. I'm gonna hover over the panel that has the repeat within it and I will click once on that. What that will do is it will select all instances of that repeating pattern. Now in this example, I only have two, so it's not very many, but if I had a lot more or if they were in really small positions that I couldn't quite grab easily, this would do it much more quickly. Once that is selected, I'm going to change the fill color to be white manually over here. I can then come and select my entire sketch, come up to the recolor artwork dialog, and I wanna show you guys one other cool trick within here. So in this example, we already have white as a color position. That's because there is white in this fill color right here. So instead of manually double clicking on each of these colors and selecting the color from the color picker, I'm gonna cancel out of that. I can use this white here to fill in um, or to change these blue positions to white. So from within this dialog, I can do a couple things. One, if I, try to drag the white from here and put it in this position, what it does is it just switches those color positions. So that's not what I want. I'm gonna drag it back to put that color back. Instead, I wanna drag it from the left to the right. And what that will do is it will override that color position. So now I can quickly take the white I already have and drag it into all of my color positions. Very, very quick and easy. I go ahead and choose okay. And now I've got my black and white sketch. Again, think about the power of this with an entire line sheet, 10 garments that you could change to black and white in literally 30 seconds. So I love this trick so much. I'm really happy to share it with you guys. If you want other tutorials and free downloads and all sorts of great stuff that I give away that you don't see here on YouTube, I'd love to have you on my email list. Check out my website at SoHeidi.com. Put your first, in, first name and email in there and I will add you to the list. I'd love to get to know you and what you're working on and I will send you tons of free stuff that will help you become more efficient in using Adobe Illustrator for fashion. Thanks for watching everybody. I am so Heidi. I will see you soon. Bye-bye.